tape for this featherweight fight. Vieira, 33 years old, making his UFC debut tonight. He is 33, he's taking on 24-year-old Felipe Arantes. Vieira is the taller fighter by four inches. Here is Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard will be the referee for this featherweight fight. The beautiful Ariani making the trip to Brazil with us. Bella Orizonte. Okay, guys, here we go. You ready? You ready? Set to see its Let's first go. ever live UFC battle. Here we go. In the black trunks, Milton Vieira. And in the red trunks, Felipe Arantes. Vieira, as Joe mentioned, has fought bigger men throughout his very long MMA career. Well, for a while, there was no other options for the lighter weight guys. Right. 155 was even hard to come by, and the UFC didn't have that until a few years back. I mean, we had it at, at first, you know, when Jens Pulver was the champion, and then it went away. But now, these fighters get a chance all the way down to 125 pounds, and it's, it's so nice to see because there's so many spectacular fighters at these lighter weight classes. They show such great technique and endurance. And the world's going to be introduced to a bunch of new Brazilian talents here tonight, Joe. Well, I got a chance to watch the entire season of fights today, and there's some great talent in tough Brazil. The Ultimate Fighter Brazil is uh, really proven to be uh, an excellent showcase for some of these up-and-coming guys. Good kicks by Felipe Arantes onto the lead leg of Milton Vieira. Vieira tries with the jab. The inside leg kick by the Wolverine. Ah, slip and rip. Nicely done. That was a good sharp right-hand counter by Milton Vieira over the left jab of Arantes. He countered with the combination earlier, Joe, off the Oh, kick good to right hand. Uh, Milton takes him down. Into half guard. Milton Vieira has a very tight ground game, Mike. And one of the things you'll see about this man is he gives very little space. When he gets a guy down, he smushes him, stays tight to him. Notice how he has a very tight head and arm choke here, keeps the pressure on him, and he will slowly try to free his right leg. 11-year professional Milton Vieira. He's pushing down on the right bicep, and he will move his left knee up and try to press it down, Mike. Nine of his 13 career wins have come by submission. Trying to get that leg free still. Pressing down with the left instep. He applies pressure to the leg. Stay busy, James. Let's work. And slowly but surely, he'll try to pop that leg out. But he wants to make sure that he doesn't lose the position in the process. And you see Arantes there hip escaping and moving his body up a little higher to try to get that, that half lock. He got it. There. there. Very nice. Right right inside side control. control. And Milton Vieira, see the pressure, Mike? Very tight. Heavy, heavy on the chest of Arantes. Arantes has to be careful of his left arm and his right arm here, especially his right arm, the way he's reaching around the, the shoulder. Milton can isolate that arm here, especially if he throws his left leg over. He's going to go for a choke, Mike. See the left arm around the head? He's slowly moving himself into position, and he will try to slide his right arm under the armpit. And Arantes slips out. Nicely Very done. Very nicely done. And into full guard. And he's well-schooled. Yeah. He's yep. well-schooled on, on the chokes of Milton Vieira. And Milton Vieira, famous, as we mentioned during the walk-in, for his utilization of the anaconda choke. And he was working for just that, either that or a Doris, which is essentially like a reverse anaconda choke. Just Ooh. missed with the ground and pound. A lot of people get those chokes confused, which one is which. The real, the real simple way to do it, to think about it, is if the arm, it's, it's kind of hard to describe, but if the arm goes through the armpit and connects over the head, that is, that is a Dars choke. If it goes the other way, it's an anaconda choke. If it connects under the armpit, then it's the anaconda choke. Keep an eye out for both with Vieira. Arantius controlling in the full guard here. Now he covers up. Vieira teeing off now. Not too much damage, though. Well, Vieira's ground and pound is strictly to open up for submissions. Very nice pass. Very nice pass, Mike. 
Now watch when Vieira tries to slide his right arm under. See what he's doing here? He's pressing his left, his right arm under. Yep. This is a Darce choke. He's going for it right now. He's got a lot of time still. He's got about 25 Lost seconds. It. Arantes obviously knows what's going on. He pulled him right back into guard again. Very nice. The takedown came on the counter after a punch thrown by Arantes. And it stayed on the ground the remainder of of this first round. Now Milton's just going to try to stay busy here and make sure he secures this yeah. round in the judges' scorecards. Final second for round one. Sit down and breathe. You see what he's trying to do? That's what he's going to try to do. He's going to keep trying to do that on the ground. That's it. Let's take a look at the grappling skills of Milton Vieira here. You see he gets the double, takes him down, passes the half guard, and moves into side control here. Expertly done. And here's some ground and pound from Milton. Overall, good grappling from Milton Vieira, but good defense from Felipe Arantes. He's obviously well-schooled in the game of Milton Vieira and did a good job defending the chokes. Vieira, mentioned earlier by Joe, competed in Abu Dhabi. A couple of times, three-time Luta Libre state champion and a veteran since 2001. He said, this is the perfect time for me to make my UFC debut. I feel I'm the best I've ever been mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm ready to put on a show and ready to make a name for myself on the biggest stage. Arantius wants to keep this standing. He threw some leg kicks early, the flying knee there. And the straight kick with the left. Saw that one coming. Rontes is fired up, Mike. Yep, he had some heavy leg kicks in the first round, Joe. <laughs> Felipe and Rontes knows he's got an advantage on the feet. Switches his stance. Six wins by TKO, four by submission. 14 total. For Arantes, born and raised in Sao Paulo. Vieira may look for an opportunity to shoot off. Punches thrown again by Arantes. That's how he shot for the double in the first round. He has worked, he said, a lot on his striking, knowing that tonight's matchup was against a man who loved to strike and was dynamic in doing so. Arantes really likes that flying knee. Connected with it earlier in the round, then just tried it again. And Vieira just looks like he's just moving away and being defensive for the striking, looking for his opening. He's got to make sure that he does it with enough time to work on the ground. Because so far, Arantes is winning the stand-up exchange. Very nice inside leg kick. That's the first one he's really thrown from the left side in this stance. Now he switches back and forth. the lead leg. He was a little off balance when he threw that. He's looking for that opening. Let's see if he tries to go with that inside leg kick again. Vieira again shot. looks for the shot. Good sprawl by Arantes. Arantes got caught on the combination of the first round. He's been able to avoid both takedown attempts here in the second, Joe. First shot wasn't even close. That one, solid jab by Arantes. Arantes really got his hips out of the way. See if he starts to put on the pressure here. 
Under two minutes on the clock here in the second. Good jab again. Well, the more confident he feels with that takedown defense, the yes. more he's going to be aggressive. Inside leg kick straight high. And Milton shakes it off. Yeah, Vieira says, let's continue. High low. Marantis getting more confident. Good combination by Vieira. And he comes forward. Another solid leg kick. There's a shoot box flavor to Brazilian top team. Sergio Cunha, one of the striking coaches who really was one of the key components in the old days of shoot box, is now the striking coach of Milton Vieira. Oh! As Milton Vieira eats a big jab by Arantes. Yeah, Arantes has some very good timing with that jab, Mike. I like how he switches up, too. He really confuses Milton a lot with that. And when he switches up, he throws that really strong inside left kick. Looking for the spin. Milton the answer. wheel kick. He's blocked. Milton Vieira connects with the wheel kick. That was a very solid kick, Mike. Caught him right with the heel, Joe. And the takedown by Arantis now. And Milton, it's amazing. Every time he goes to the ground, Mike, immediately goes for overhooks and tries to tie up arms. That's because of his love for these chokes. He loves arm-in chokes. Anacondas and Darces. And look at this, Arantis takes his back. Arantis active from top position here. Final seconds of the round. You gotta get the timing when he's moving in. You're fighting too much on your feet. You're keeping the fight standing too much. It's all you. You just gotta time it right. Don't let him put you against the cage. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. First of all, the flying knee from Arantes right on the jaw of Milton. And here's the wheel kick by Vieira. Karak caught him right behind the ear and really rocked him with that kick. Milton Vieira showcasing his striking skills late in the round, clipping Arantes. And then Arantes was the one who was more dynamic from top position, third round. You heard the corner of Milton Vieira telling him, let's get this fight to the ground. Let's go to where you have what they believe is a definitive advantage. That kick from Vieira, the most significant strike of this fight. There's that stiff jab again. He's not following it up, though. He's landing it very nicely, but then he pauses. I'd like to see him keep moving forward, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would like to see him follow up with other combinations. He's, he's proven that his takedown defense is excellent. You know, so he has an advantage on the feet. I'd like to see him open up a little bit more. When he did open up in the first round, that's when he got taken down. I wonder if that's entering into the mind of Felipe Arantes at all. And there was a one-two. And comes back, does Milton Vieira. Now he's starting to come forward a bit more. Yeah, at least he's throwing a two-punch combination instead of just a jab. But I'd also like to see him continue that uh, the great work with those leg kicks because he's landed some very powerful ones to the left leg of Vieira, both from the inside and the outside. And that's going to take away the shot. Absolutely. And there there it is. is. I like that fake first. I like how he did that. That throws off the timing of Vieira on a possible takedown. Now Vieira trying to push forward a bit. Just over three minutes remain in this fight. 
They both exchange oblique kicks. And Arantes goes up high. Oh, nice combination. There's the dynamic striking we talked about earlier of Felipe Arantes. The switch, the follow-up. And he scored more points, oh, lead nice right. Straight. Oh, there's the takedown attempt by Vieira. Stuffed by Arantes. Let's see if he can get out of this and get back up. And Vieira's got to pull in. He wants to pull his legs in there and try to get half guard. Does not have control at all of Arantes. Arantes could just back up out of there. And he lands a couple right hands. serious right and hands. And another here. one. Big right hands by Felipe Arantes. The thing is, though, the more he stays in this ground and pound position, the more he gives Vieira the chance to grab a hold of him and advance his position. So Vieira, what, what he wants to do is get his legs inside and somehow or another control Arantes' body. Vieira has thrown more total strikes, but more significant strikes have been landed by Felipe Arantes. Yeah, the only real significant strike by Vieira was that wheel kick. Yeah. And now he's trying to pull guard here. Now he does it. Okay, so this is where Rontes has made a mistake. He's clearly made a mistake here because he's allowed Vieira to get full guard on him and control one of his arms. His left arm is pinned to the mat, and Vieira has it all wrapped up. Let's see if he could advance his position. What he wants to do, Mike, is either work for a triangle possibly for a, an omoplata, which is a shoulder lock, but he has the left arm of Arantes tied up. And Arantes is trying to stay tight and force Mark Goddard to stand him up. We can see it from this angle. See how he's got his, his right knee and his right hand wrapping up that left arm? Oh, look at this. Back up. Arantes, Arantes did what he needed to do. He stayed real tight on him, Joe, and he tried to neutralize any attack from the bottom well, and any Vieira, improvement in position. Vieira had an attack. You can't just hold on there. But you know what? I mean, here we are. We're in the third round. Yeah. He's probably tired. But he, he should have attacked. He should have went for an all-out sprint there. He, he shot in, got a hold of him, pulled him to the ground, got a hold of the guard, and he even had a decent position on that right, the left arm. Spinning oh, back spinning kick to back the body. Right to the body. And we've seen some Dynamic striking here in the third round from Felipe Arantes. The combination earlier, the spinning back kick lands. And there's a spin answered by Milton Vieira. Milton has got to be frustrated knowing that he had him on the ground, had a hold of him, and, and wasn't able to capitalize and was stood back up. Final seconds of this fight. Go the distance, Milton Vieira and Felipe Arantes. There's a takedown the first round by Milton Vieira. Now here's that beautiful flying knee by Arantes. And the wheel kick. Here it is by Vieira, which really staggered Arantes. And there's a nice jab by Arantes. The and there's switch a in the hands. Beautiful combination. Yeah. A jumping switch kick and a right left combination. So Vieira and Arantes await the judge's decision. Arantes, 14 wins, just one loss in his last 11 fights. There's the former champion, Marilla Bustamante, you saw a moment ago. And in the corner of Milton Vieira. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest, 29-28, Vieira. 29-28, Arantes. And 28-28, ladies and gentlemen, this fight is a draw. 
Wow. The first fight ever live in Bella Orizonte is a draw. Vieira and Arantes. I gotta say, I disagree with that. I thought Arantes was gonna get that decision. So Arantes is now 1-1-1 one, one, and one in his UFC career.